Hi everyone, this is Cooking with Kurt. Today, my husband Donald and I are going to show you how to make a choco butternut cake. This is a deliciously moist dark chocolate cake with a light chocolate frosting and covered with butternut streusel crumbs. Now, what exactly is butternut? Good question. It's a flavor by Dunkin' Donuts in the Philippines that's bright orange in color with a slightly nutty taste. Today, we're recreating it using shredded coconut, almond flour, and a hint of nutmeg. Yum, sounds delicious. This recipe was requested by a lot of you. Thanks so much for your requests, and we hope you like this video. Today, we're gonna start by prepping the chocolate frosting. In a heat-proof bowl like glass or stainless steel, add in eight ounces, which is about one and one-third cups of dark or bittersweet chocolate chips. Then take a microwave-safe bowl, add in one cup of heavy cream, and microwave for two minutes till the heavy cream is steaming. Pour the hot heavy cream over the chocolate chips. Let it stand for one minute and mix until the chocolate chips are completely melted and there are no lumps. Cover with plastic wrap, then refrigerate for a minimum of four hours. While waiting for the chocolate for the frosting to cool, we're going to make the butternut streusel. Place an oven rack in the middle position and preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Then take a sheet pan, add in two cups of almond flour and half a cup of shredded coconut. Mix them together to combine. Bake this almond flour and shredded coconut mixture in the oven for 10 minutes, stirring every two minutes to dry it out. Take the sheet pan out of the oven and let the mixture cool in the pan completely to room temperature. Be sure to let it cool completely to room temperature, as doing the next steps while it's still hot will result in a soggy and clumpy butternut paste rather than a crumbly streusel. When the almond flour shredded coconut mixture has cooled completely to room temperature, transfer it into a mixing bowl. Add in one third cup of powdered sugar, one fourth teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, and whisk together these dry ingredients. Then add one teaspoon of orange gel food coloring. Mix together with your hands till everything is well mixed and you end up with a bright orange streusel mixture. Depending on the type of coloring you use, this may take five to 10 minutes of mixing and squeezing by hand pressing the coloring into the crumble. Set this aside for now. Next, we're gonna make our chocolate cake layers. With your oven rack in the middle position, preheat your oven to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Take two nine inch round cake pans, butter the sides and the bottom. Line the bottoms with parchment paper and butter the parchment paper as well. Soak two cake strips in cold water, shake off excess water and place cake strips around the cake pans. These cake strips will prevent the cake from doming while it bakes. Take two ounces of dark or bittersweet chocolate, which is about one third cup of chocolate chips, and add it to one cup hot brewed coffee. Prepare this coffee however you would for drinking. Stir until the mixture is smooth. Take a big mixing bowl with a sieve, add in two cups granulated sugar, one and two third cups all-purpose flour, one cup unsweetened natural cocoa powder, one and one third teaspoon baking soda, half a teaspoon baking powder, and one teaspoon salt. Sift this in and whisk together to combine. In the bowl of your stand mixer, add in two eggs, and with the paddle attachment, beat them on medium speed for about five minutes. While continuing to beat, add in half a cup of vegetable oil, one cup of well-shaken buttermilk, one teaspoon vanilla extract, and the melted chocolate coffee mixture. When the wet ingredients are well combined, turn down the mixture to low speed. Slowly add in the dry ingredients and continue to beat just until combined. Scrape down the paddle attachment as well as the sides and bottom of the bowl as needed. Divide the batter equally between the two prepared pans and tap the pans gently to release any air bubbles. We're going to bake these on the middle rack at 300 degrees Fahrenheit for 45 to 50 minutes or until a toothpick inserted in the middle comes out clean. 
Let the cake cool in the pans for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes of cooling, invert the cakes onto wire racks, lift off the pans, peel off the parchment paper, and let the cakes cool completely to room temperature. When the chocolate ganache for the frosting is chilled, transfer this mixture to the clean bowl of your stand mixer. Using the whisk attachment, beat it on medium-high speed for one minute till it becomes light and fluffy. Stop the mixer and add in one cup of very cold heavy cream, one fourth cup of powdered sugar, and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Continue whipping till you see stiff peaks. It should look something like this. Detach the bowl from the stand mixer and scrape down the sides and bottom of the bowl, folding in any undermixed chocolate. Set this in the fridge till you're ready to use it. When the chocolate frosting and butternut streusel are ready and the cake layers have cooled, we're ready to assemble the cake. Take a cake board that's larger than nine inches in diameter. This is a 10 inch diameter cake board and place it on a revolving cake stand. Place the first layer of chocolate cake in the center of the cake board. Spread about one cup of the chocolate frosting on top, creating an even and flat layer as much as possible. Place the second layer of chocolate cake on top. Cover the sides of the cake with a thin layer of the chocolate frosting and the same thing on the top of the cake. Use a bench scraper or offset spatula to smoothen out the frosting. Be sure to save some of the chocolate frosting to make rosettes for decorations. Clean off stray frosting from the bottom edge of the cake. Then, with your hands, press the butternut streusel crumbs on the sides of the cake and sprinkle it to cover the top of the cake. It should stick to the frosting so that the entire cake is covered in the orange butternut crumbs. Attach a large open star tip, I'm using a number 1M tip, to a piping bag and transfer the remaining frosting into the piping bag. Pipe big rosettes around the cake's top edge, about one inch away from the edge, or in whatever pattern you'd like. Store this cake in the fridge till you're ready to serve it. It can be served chilled or at room temperature, depending on your preference. And there it is, choco butternut cake. Dark chocolate cake with a light chocolate frosting and covered with butternut streusel. I'm set up. Mmm, yum. So good. Those dark chocolate layers are so moist and rich. And the butternut streusel provides a nice subtle contrast to it. Mm -hmm. So good. Thank you so much for watching. Please let us know in the comment section below if you're planning to make this choco butternut cake. Send us pictures of your creations on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Links below. And if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Cooking with Kurt. And don't forget to click on the bell so you get notified when we post new cooking videos. And for our written recipes and more, check out cookingwithkurt.com. Maraming salamat.